So, kanina yun? Kanina yung hindi nakamute na yun. I think that's... Okay. So, let's start. Okay. So, last... Uh, last Monday, we had our reflection about the Gospel reading for the last Sunday Mass, right? And now, for the day, we are going uh, to our lesson three, which is understanding rules. Uh, can, you, can you guys see me? Nakikita niyo ako? I'm nasa, nasa malit lang ako na ano, nasa, uh, camera dito. And then, you can see my slide. So, it's understanding rules. So, yesterday, uh, I had given you an assignment to think of a rule that you want to implement in your house, school, or community. Um, uh, may I see your assignment? Isa muna, isa. Uh, let's say, Agu. Ano yung, uh, give one. Ano yung nilagay mo sa assignment for the rules sa bahay? Rules na gusto mong ipatupad sa house? Did you? Did you make your assignment or what? I haven't checked it eh. I haven't checked it pa. Okay, uh, while Agu is pulling out his assignment. Okay, go ahead. Please read your assignment. Ano yung rule? What's the rule that you want to be implemented in your house? Okay. Hey, go ahead, Agu. Anytime you're ready. Did you make a mess clean it? Uh, again, ano potol kasi ganon eh. To make what? If you make a mess. Uh, if you make a mess. All right. Very good. Thank you. So if you're going to make a mess inside your house, you have to clean it. Okay. Wala namang ibang maglilinsya kundi ikaw lang daman. Okay, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good one. Okay, let's try email. What's the rule for the school na ano naman na gusto mong ma-implement? Wash the dishes after eating. After eating in school. Okay, pwede na naman. If, if, if you're going to, if you're going to eat in school, of course, you have to wash them. Diba? Ilang mga last boxes nyo. You have to wash them. What about sa community naman, Isa? Community rule na gusto mo ma-implement. No littering. No littering, right. Okay. Everywhere. Even sa house. Even sa school. Even sa community. No littering. Okay. You have to protect the environment. Diba? That's our mission. Na ating na, na tinalakay nung sa lesson 2. Okay. Good. Very good. Thank you. So, hanggang doon lang muna. No? So, um, going to our lesson proper, understanding rules. So God entrusted the commandments to Moses on Mount Sinai. Okay? Sa Mount Sinai. That's, that's Moses. That's, uh, that's the image of Moses in a movie uh, holding the tablets of the Ten Commandments. So in the midst of fire... All right, so there you go. So in the midst of fire and lightning, Moses received God's law. So sa so makikita nyo, that's the mountain of Mount Sinai. So on top of it, naglalagablab yung apoy. May mga pulog, uh, may mga kidlat. Diba? So in the midst of fire and lightning, doon niya tinanggap. Uh, Moses received there God's law. So in the law that Moses received, the Israelites, so you can see the Israelites, the Israelites, the, the Israelites below, so, uh, they are at the bottom of uh, the mountain. Um, Israelites, okay, remember, Israelites is also another name for the Jewish people, right? And see, where's your camera? I mean, Ate Chacha, hindi naka-activate ang camera mo, Ate Chacha. All right, there you go. So it's uh, uh, we have a rule, diba? 
So ating ang ating lesson for today is about understanding rules. So you have to understand one of one of the rules here in the online class is you have to open your camera always that you have to follow as a student. Okay, so as I, as what I have said in the law of the uh, in the law of Moses received, the Israelites were made holy people with a unique relation with God. Nagkaroon sila ng unique relationship with God. These Israelites, these Jewish people. So the Israelites were asked to keep the law, right? To keep the law of God. And to this, Yahweh gave them the Ten Commandments. So that's our topic, the Ten Commandments. Okay, so what, what is it, Maxine? Do you, have some, do you have to tell something? Do you have to say? Okay, uh, I just thought, kasi nag-react ka rito. Uh, you made some reaction. So yun, uh, the first three, okay, ten lahat ha, ten lahat ng commandments. The first three commandments are about loving God. Okay, again, the first three commandments are about loving God. So the first commandment, so the first commandment is, I am the Lord, your God. You shall not have other God beside me. So may karugtog pa yung statement na yun. Eh. So sabi ay, you shall name, um, you shall not make yourself a carved image of any likeness of anything in heaven or on the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, Yahweh, your God, I am a jealous God, for the sin of the fathers, may they rebel against me. I punish the sons, the grandsons, and the great grandsons. But I show steadfast love until the thousandth generation for those who love me and keep my commandments. So this just simply means love God above all and don't worship false gods. So that's the first commandment. Again, the first commandment, I am the Lord. Uh, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have other God beside me. Sinasabi rito, napakamahalin natin ng Diyos ng lalo at higit sa lahat. At huwag ka rin sasamba sa mga Diyos Diyosan. Don't worship to false gods. So ito yung sinasabi ng first commandment. The second commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Again, you shall not take the name of the Lord God, uh, the name of the Lord your God in vain. So the second commandment requires the respect for the Lord's name. Okay, it it requires the respect for the Lord's name. It governs our use of the speech in sacred matters. And the second commandment calls us to the virtue of reverence for God. So reverence means deep respect. So which trains us to know and preserve, uh, to know and to preserve the difference between the Creator and the creatures. So may malaking pagkakaiba. Yung gumawa, the Creator, at tayo, ng mga creatures si God. So respect for God's name keeps us from reducing Him to a mere fact or even a thing that we can control or manipulate. Okay, so that's the second commandment. So nakakadalawa na tayo. Let's go to third. Let's try Maxine. Maxine, please read the third commandment, please. That's your comment. Commandment. Remember, commandment. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath, Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Remember to keep holy the Lord's day. All right. Thank you, Maxine. So, you know, so... Kanina sabi ko, the two commandments are telling us to love God. And the rest of the commandments are telling us to love our neighbors. So, ito naman, yung third commandment ay, sorry, remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. In our lesson one, okay, tandaan nyo pa, lesson one, ha? In our lesson one, I discussed about the seven days of creation, right? In seven days of creation, uh, for, for in six days, six days, God made heaven and earth, the sea, animals, sun, moon, and stars, and also mankind. But on the seventh day, He rested and made that day holy. So in this commandment, 
we are told to observe the Sabbath day. So lahat tayo ay inaanyayahan ng Panginoon na sumimba. Once a week lang naman ang hinihingi ng Panginoon mula sa atin. Once lang, once a week. Kaya ibigin na saan natin yun. So six days of work or and then one day of rest. Diba? And the rest of the day should be given to Him. Ano ba? Diba? So hindi lang pala to ano, hindi lang pala yung yung, yung pinapagawa pala Sir Iman sa inyo, hindi lang pala basta uh, mass attendance. Hindi lang pala basta project 'yon kasi uh, it's the commandment of God for us to keep the Sabbath day holy. We must always observe the Sabbath day. Kailangan nating sumimba because it's one of the commandments of God. Okay? So those are the three command those are the first three commandments that telling us to love God. Nasa unang tatlo pa lang tayo. Ha? And the rest of the commandments are telling us to love our neighbors. Mahalin ang ating kapwa. So here it goes. Fourth commandment. Um, Maxine is done. Cha-cha. Ate Cha. Please read the fourth commandment. Honor your, honor your father and your mother. Right. That's it. Honor your father and your mother. Actually, napakasimple lang nung ano yan. Napakasimple lang nung sasabi yan. Ano? So, love your neighbor. So, honor your father and mother that may have a long life in the land that Yahweh has given you. So, this statement, the fourth commandment, uh, is telling us to respect your parents. Okay? Respect your parents. Nare-respect nyo ba yung magulang nyo? Mahal nyo ba sila? Minamahal nyo ba sila? So, as a child. Okay, that's good, di ba? So as a child, as a fourth grader, you must love and respect your parents. And likewise, likewise with your parents, they must also love you and respect you as their children. So, tanong, how do you respect your parents for graders? How do you respect them? Ano by by not saying po and opo? Or by Magsabi po lagi Opo Yes, that's true So that's one of the Filipino culture Na maganda sa atin You're saying po and opo As part of our uh, As part of giving respect uh, To our parents And to the elderly Diba? So Yun nga no um, Pero siyempre there, there are lots of obstacles Pagdating sa dito Pagdating dito sa Fourth commandment ano? Kasi sometimes There are what we call abusive parents. Okay, abusive parents. Sometimes, naman, children like you are neglecting their parents for some reasons. Um, may times, naman, na dumi distance tayo sa parents natin. Kasi, uh, actually, you're already in grade four, no? So most of you are already in the puberty period, di ba? So ito yung time na ano? Ito yung time na na mas madalas na gusto natin yung friends ang kasama natin instead of our parents. So this this is the uh, ito yung ano eh ito yung time na yon during the puberty and until the teenagers. Na kung saan mas madalas pa nating kasama yung mga kaibigan, mga tropa, mga barkada or yung mga ka-age level natin, or ka-age level niyo uh, instead of um instead of uh, having time with your parents. So yun yung ano, distancing from parents. And there's, there's also generation gap. Siyempre, uh, you were born today. You were born this year. You were born in the year 2000. Habang yung parents naman, they were already old enough. Uh, iba yung generation eh. Iba yung generation nyo sa generation nila. Magkaiba, magkalayo. So isa-isa mga obstacle uh, sa pag-respect sa parents. Ano, nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding because of generation gap. Next is Parental absences. Kasi nga, hindi natin may iwasan, your parents are also working. They need to work to make a living para kumita at para may ikabuhay sa pamilya. So, mas madalas, uh, hindi natin nakikita yung, yung kanilang presence sa bahay. And that's uh, one of the reasons, kung baga, kung baga yun ang nagiging isa sa mga obstacle para sa fourth commandment. Sabi nga sa Colossians 3:20, children, sabi ah ito, Colossians 3 chapter 3 verse 20, children, obey your parents in everything. 
for this pleases the Lord. Okay? Tandaan nyo muna, fourth commandment, honor your father and your mother. Hindi to limited sa parents and children relationship lang. Ha? Hindi to magulang and anak lang. So ito ay very, ano, uh, very broad. Malawak to. This also applies to us. Tayo. Uh, Ina-apply to sa student and teacher. So you have to respect me and I also have to respect you as my, as my students. Uh, Ina-apply dito sa employees and employers sa mga nagkatrabaho at sa mga pinagkatrabahuhan, subordinates and leaders, they have to respect each other. Um, likewise with the parish priest and his parishioners. So kailangan, respetuhin natin ang ating parish priest. And at the same time, yung parish priest will also respect us as the parishioners. Siguro isa pa, ano, uh, isa pa example, uh, citizens and officials. So as the citizen of uh, a citizen of the country of the Philippines we have to give respect to the officials to the government officials of the Philippines from president to the barangay officials ba? And likewise those officials must also give respect to us So that's uh, so you know ibig sabihin na the fourth commandment honor your father and mother Okay Let's try a Miel. Okay, Miel, please read the fifth commandment. You shall not kill. Right, there you go. As simple as that. You shall not kill. Wag kang papatay. Because human life is sacred. Na di ba nga tayo ang ano, God's masterpiece? Right? We were created uh Sa wang isang Panginoon, we were created in God's image. God created us, He gave us life, and we are given a mission to protect and preserve all of His creations. Diba yung, ano, yung ating mission? We have to protect and preserve all of His creations. At kasama ang tao, kasama tayo sa kanyang creations. No one, wala kahit sino man, has a right to over one's life, even his own life. Okay, ito explanation kasi ang katawan natin ay hindi natin sarili. Hindi natin ito pagmamayari. This body is owned by God. And the fifth commandment is also telling us to take good care of our body. Hindi yung, uh, and also to take care of our body, we must, we must eat properly. Okay? Kasama yan sa fifth commandment. Kasi you shall not kill. You have to eat properly. And also, you have to avoid things that can hurt your body. Okay? You have to avoid things that can hurt your body. Isa pa rito, um, imprudent actions. You know what imprudent actions are? Kasi imprudent actions must also be avoided because it's high risk of taking a life. Be my example, uh, imprudent, uh, uh, imprudent action. You know that you're driving a car. Okay? Let's say someone is driving a car and he is also under uh, the content of, uh, under the content of alcohol. So nakainom siya tapos nagdrive siya. So anong pwedeng mangyari? Anyone? Uminom ka, naglasing ka tapos bigla kang nagdrive. Nag-drive ka ng sasakyan mo. What may happen kapag lasing ka and you're going to drive? Anyone? Answer. Nabangga. Nabangga. So, possible na magkaroon ng accident. Di ba? So, ito yung nalawag ng important actions. You have to avoid uh, those actions na kung alam mo naman na possible na maaksidente ka dahil sa pag-iinom mo tapos magdadrive ka. So, you're going against the fifth commandment. Ba? Kasi it's it's an imprudent action. Na, uh, nakainom ka, lasing ka, magdadrive ka. Okay. Another thing, abortion. Abortion is being practiced everywhere. So, Yes, Agu. What is it, Agu?
What is it? Okay, Isa, you may go ahead, Isa. Okay, so next, uh, sige nga, no, so abortion is being practiced everywhere. At ito nga, sinasalungkot, ito yung fifth commandment. Okay? Uh, there is also what we call... Miss, I... Nawala si ate siya. Ah. Hindi ko po kayo, nag-power off po yung cellphone ko. Okay. I'm inviting you. Hindi ko po mabuksan eh. Nag-lowbat po. Okay, sige. Just stay with Ago na lang. Okay. Ito There na you si go. So ito na nga, no? Um, isa pa sa mga uh, isa pa sa mga sumasalungkot ano that goes against the commandment is the what we call euthanasia. Again, euthanasia. Euthanasia is mercy killing. Okay? So isa pa uli, uh, another example that goes against uh, the fifth commandment is suicide. The death penalty, murder, war. So you know, those are the examples Uh, pag yung mga samples na itong umiiral sa mundo natin na nagva-violate sa fifth commandment. Alright, so let's go to sixth commandment. Let's try... It's done. Isa, okay, please read the sixth commandment. You shall not commit adultery. adultery. So you shall not uh, commit adultery. So the seventh command, uh, the sixth commandment rather, uh, the sixth commandment is a commandment to cherish and honor your marriage. Kung nabawa kasal ka na, dapat irespeto mo to. Do not cheat on your partner. Because if you cheat on your, on your wife or your husband, then you are already committing adultery. So that's, uh, that's a simple meaning of the sixth commandment. Do not cheat. Okay, do not cheat on your partner in life. Okay, let's go back to Maxine. Please read the seventh commandment. Ati Maxine, please read. The seventh commandment. You shall not steal. All right. Thank you, Ate Maxine. You shall not steal. As an expression of the commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. Mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa gaya na pagmamahal mo sarili mo. Because the seventh commandment forbids unjustly taking or keeping the goods of one's neighbor and wronging him in any way with respect to his goods. Pasimple natin sa Tagalog, huwag kang magnanakaw. Okay? That's it. Yun na yun. Yun na yung seventh commandment. Huwag kang magnanakaw. You shall not steal. Okay, let's go back to Ate Cha. Ate Cha, please read the eighth commandment. False witness against your neighbor. All right. So you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So here... Uh, do not uh, you, you do not make accusations and do not lie so you must always tell the truth and we should not deceive one another so pinaka simple pinaka simple siguro explanation dito wag kang magsisinungaling okay so pagsisinungaling ang pagsisinungaling pala ay isa sa mga pagsasalungat sa commandment of god Okay. Miel, Ate Miel, hello. The ninth commandment, please. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. All right, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Thank you, Ate, Ate Miel. So this command connects to the sixth. Okay. Yung sixth commandment kanina, sabi ay, uh, you shall not commit adultery. So sabi ko nila, uh, sa sixth commandment, I do not cheat on your partner. 
di ba? So likewise dito sa ating ninth commandment, do not recommend your neighbor's wife. Um actually with um So this command, sabi nga, this command connects to the sixth, in which among other feelings is condemned adultery. Ayan, malapit tayo matapos. And if in fact, a sin, isang kasalanan, a sin to take the wife of another, yung pag-agaw sa asawa ng iba, so because you uh, you just want to do something, a little less action accomplished, the Lord commands us not to crave. Okay? The Lord commands us not to crave because He knows our weaknesses. Alam niyo yung kahinaan natin. And the nine and the nine commandment requires to overcome the lust in carnal thoughts and desires. Sa isip at sa gawa. Okay? Dapat alisin yung lust na tinatawag. Okay? So that's the nine commandment. Do not, uh, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. And the last commandment, okay, uh, at isa you shall not covet their neighbor's goods or you shall not not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor all right thank you at isa so you know uh yung una you shall not covet your neighbor's goods or kung papabayaran you shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor so that's the that's the last and the 10th commandment Kasi, tayo kasi mga tao, we desire pleasant things that we do not have. Pag nakakita tayo sa ibang tao, gusto natin meron din tayo. And this desires, actually, uh, good naman sa kung tutuusin. Ano? These desires are good in themselves. Further, kung tutuusin, there is nothing wrong with, uh, with desiring to obtain things that belong to another. As long, as long as we obtain them by just means. Kung halimbawa, pinaghirapan naman natin isang bagay, hindi naman masama yun. Halimbawa, uh, si, halimbawa, si Ago, si Kuya Ago, merong isang cellphone na maganda. Gusto rin pala ni Ate Isa ng ganong cellphone. It's okay. It's, it's, it's just fine na gusto mo rin magkaroon nun kung pinaghirapan mo naman. Pero kung kukunin mo yun, you're going to uh nga, just like the actually ano rin to eh, sa seventh commandment ano konektado to kung halimbawa ang kukunin mo naman siya kukun mo yung yung kanyang pag-aari na hindi naman sa iyo kasalanan yon di ba so the problem comes when yung desires exceed the limits of reason and drive us to covet unjustly what is not ours and belongs to another or is uh owed to another so it is precisely um, this problem that the Ten Commandments hopes to help us to avoid. Na okay lang naman na gustohin natin ang isang bagay na hindi atin, pero wag natin naagawin. Kanya yun eh. So you have, to, you, you have to work for it para magkaroon ka ng sayo. So specifically, the Ten Commandments forbids the capital sin of avarice, avarice or avarice also known as greed. Okay? Huwag tayo maging greedy. Okay, avarice refers to an excessive desire huh? or uh, inordinate love for wealth, status, and power. So it is characterized by a willingness to make the accumulation of these things to the center of our lives, the purpose for which we alone live. Sa Filipino, ito yung pagiging kahaman, greedy. Yung pangangamkam sa mga ari-ari at na hindi naman sayo. So that's the Ten Commandment. Huwag kang maging gahaman. Yan. So these commandments um, represent the great gift of God's love. Okay? Again, these commandments represent the great gift of God's love. At ang mga uros na ito ay inaakay tayo sa dalawang direksyon. So guys, sabi ko kanina, first is to revere God. Revere God. And secondly, to respect our fellow human persons. Kasi, dalo, kasi if you're going to summarize, kasi sinamarize ni, ano eh, sinamarize ni, ni Jesus yung, ano eh, yung Ten Commandments. Una is to love God above all else. Mahalin mo ang Diyos, tahigit sa lahat. Pangalawa, mahalin mo yung kapwa. Yun lang naman eh. 
Siyempre, kung mahal mo ang kapwa mo, hindi ka magnanakaw, hindi ka papatay, di ba? Hindi ka mga hindi ka mga angkin na hindi sa iyo. Kasi mahal mo rin yung kapwa mo. So importante na malaman natin ang kahalagahan ng mga utos na ito, no? Sa ating buhay. And to know that we are and to know that we have our strengths and weaknesses. So God gave these commandments uh, to the Israelites. Again, the Israelites is also another call for Jewish people. So God gave uh, God gave these commandments to them so that they have a clear idea about how to love and serve God. Ganon din naman tayo. Meron tayong mga batas, di ba? Meron tayong batas mga sinusod para alam natin kung ano, mga, kung ano yung mga tama at mali. Di ba? They knew that this sign, these commandments are are signs of God's love for them. Kaya naman, uh, these Israelites accepted God as their leader. Tinanggap nila ang Panginoon para maging kanilang pinuno and made covenant with Him. Nagkaroon sila ng covenant sa Panginoon. Inaral nila ang mga batas ng buong puso, inunawa nila ito at sinunod so that they can live harmoniously with others. Siyempre, kung susunod mo ang batas, magiging maganda ang iyong pakikitungo sa ibang tao. Diba? Magiging maayos sa pagkikipagkapwa-tao natin. Is there any question about uh, the Ten Commandments? None? Sure, ah? Okay. So as I end up this lesson for today... So as I, have, as I end this lesson, you know, no? Um, isa sa mga rules natin, ano, if you have something to say, you have to raise hand first, okay? So sana nauunawanan yung rules natin, the online rules. Okay, I would like to ako po, invite... Ako po, sir, meron po ako na... Meron po ako natandaan sa Ten Commandments. And what is it, Ate Cha? And what did you remember? Don't kill. Don't kill. Wag kang papatay. All right. Thank you, Atsha. Tama yon. Don't kill. Pag ilan yon? You shall not kill. Six po. Six? No. Hindi siya pang six. Ang pang six ay you shall not commit adultery. Five po. All right. Okay, sige. So I want to invite everyone to unmute and please pray with me. Unmute everyone, unmute. Oh! Oh! What a thing! Alright, so let's start. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please pray with me. Explain to me, O Lord. Explain to me, O Lord, your commandments, and I will be ever faithful to them. To them, give me understanding that I may keep and observe your law with all my heart. Guide me in obeying your instructions, for my pleasure lies in them. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so that's it, ano? I just would like to leave this uh, this passage for you. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. At mababasa niyo yun sa Romans chapter 13, verse 10.